Hello everybody, welcome to Lead Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here on a special Sunday, football Sunday, watching right now the, the Saints-Eagles game, uh, flipping between that and the Titans and Texans game, so you might see me flip. Oh, they're doing a replay of Andre Johnson catching this incredible touchdown pass, 19-yard TD reception. I got him. I also have Shaw, but I put him on the bench because I got Tony Romo starting. I don't know why I didn't start Romo last week. But anyway, so uh, football, wine, you're at the house, you got maybe some friends over watching some football, you want to serve some wine, and you want to have something that's real convenient to use, or you're tailgating, you got a barbecue going, box wine. This has been requested specifically by quite a few people, and I've had other people say, do some box wine. So did the Boda Box. This is uh, by Boda Wines. Da, 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 by Boda Box Vineyards. Alright, this is a three liter box. It's the equivalent of four bottles. Now, Box Wine uh, got it at Whole Foods. This was $23.99. Uh, so, divide that by four. You're talking pretty cheap. Uh, so what, six bucks a wine? Six bucks a bottle? So, um, yeah, and there's various prices all over. Got this at Whole Foods because I knew it was there. Um, and I didn't really check out their wine section too much because I was, I kind of was an in and out thing. But it looks like they have a pretty good selection, so got to check them out eventually. Um, also know that it's available around HEB. Reading some reviews, somebody found it at Kroger, um, in, in somewhere else in the country. So they're available in a lot of places throughout the country. Um, think about box wines; it has a really bad rep. In the United States, you got Franzia wine, and that's like the the, the, the kind of the joke of box wine is that it's not really good quality and all box wines like that. In Europe, box wine is not uh, unusual to have. You can get some pretty decent wine um, in boxes. So, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a superior way to do wine. You've got a plastic bag inside. Um, you've got, we'll just open it up right now. You've got a, uh, you've got a spigot that you pull out. Find it. So you've got a little spigot in here. It's coming out right now. For Philadelphia, they really do a good job of rotating their guys. I mean, last week, if you were active, you were playing. And not just along that defensive line, but the entire defense. So you got a little thing right here, and so that you don't accidentally pour any wine as you're trying to pull this thing out. They've got a little cover. So that's about as easy as it is. You don't have you don't have any corks, um, but the thing about it is it keeps an airtight seal. And as as you pour the wine, the bag constricts, and um, you don't get any air in there. So without like like with with bottled wine, you need to put some type of vacuum uh, vacuum sealant on there to help take care of the the air, like vacuum vents. You don't need that with with uh, box wine. So uh, we've got a nice little spread here. Got some chips, got some um, veggies, some cheese, and got a nice uh, barbecue pork sandwich, some Cheetos. So stuff that you might have like at a tailgate party or type of food you may have. Um, so I'm real excited about trying this, and uh, let's check it out here. The only problem with box wine is maybe pouring it. So maybe you want to put it like on a little like stand type of thing, but it's real easy. So it's also great for storage. So uh, this is a Cabernet Sauvignon. I forgot to say what it was. Uh, they have I think five different varietals that are available, and this is the one because I knew what type of food I was going to have today. I bought this yesterday. They had a Chardonnay and they had the uh, Cabernet. I went with the Cabernet because I figured it'd be a better match. So you know, decent color. Um, So I'm getting dark fruit out of it. Um, it's not really hot as far as alcohol at all. I mean, so it's not like it's killing me. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting a hint of oak in there. But I'm not really positive about that. Some mad skills, huh? Yeah, I don't need to do the thing on there. He is really 
Um, you know, you got your, you got your, uh, got your laptop on the couch. You're checking your fantasy scores. I'm winning right now. Looks like I'm going to win. So I protect you 136 points versus the person I'm playing, 107. Here's a hint, fantasy football players. Check your lineup before you, before you uh, finalize it in case somebody is out, like Kevin Walter. Sucks to be her, doesn't it? Um, Team Pink's going down, I'm telling you. Um, so I'm doing well. Got Andre Johnson with a touchdown. Tony Gonzalez with a touchdown. I got a pretty good team on, on the ESPN League. Purple Squirrels, that's, what it's, that's where it's at. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm enjoying this. It's going to be a great day. We got um, more football. I've been watching football since soccer this morning. Wish Tot I wish Tottenham had won. They lost to Chelsea. It really sucked. And Manchester United, you got so lucky. Man City, I'm sorry, man. You guys got screwed. It was a great, you know, I saw the end of that game. That was a good one. And I can't watch my Vikings. They're in South Texas. But they're going to beat up on Detroit. Matter of fact, Detroit's only winning by three points. It's three nothing. So Vikings, my prediction, to my friend Don up in uh, Chicago, who's a big uh, Detroit fan, I told him 35 to three. Bernard Berry, 110 yards and a 55-yard touchdown. I'm waiting for that one. All right, that's going to be it for today. Um, hope you guys had a good time, and uh, we'll see you again next time.